What do you remember about the 1910 strike? Well, just that we were poor, poor. <laughs> you know, and the union kind of helped us out, you know. Uh -huh. they, we, we was on a dole, I think, I, as far as I remember. I think the children got 75 cents a week. And uh, mother got, uh, or they got, you know, the female, they got the dollar and a half. Let's see, what is it, dollar and a half? I think we got three dollars a week between us. Uh, I don't know just exactly how it was divided now. And then once in a while they'd give us a pair of shoes, a pair of overalls, or stuff like that. Did, did you feel that you gained, that, that anything was gained by the 1910 strike? Well, of course, I, I was just a... Uh, I was only about 10, 11 years old then, you see. Right. And as far as doing my parents, they good, no. They didn't do them any, any at all, no. In 1910, there was a whopper of a coal strike. It lasted five years. And all the support, such as it was, came from the United Mine Workers. How well I remember, money came in every Saturday and would be given out. The man of the family got $3 a week, the woman a dollar and a half, and each child 75 cents. Well, the strike, you know, that was uh, that was a big problem in them days. Uh, my dad gone to nine mine workers then, and uh, we were living on four dollars a week at that time. That was 1910 and 11. My dad was getting was getting three dollars week from the union and I was getting one dollar. What's the name, I, I was going to say a minute ago, uh, Governor Hammonds. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, the strike, he brought in the militia and yeah. shut down our miners here, right, in Louisville. Well, they didn't kill any of our miners anymore. Why? They, because they the company said the money. They had a machine gun up on a tower up there on Hickler Heights and Hickler Hill and uh, they, when we'd come uptown to the show, why they'd turn that searchlight on us, and they, they'd follow us clear down till we go in our back gate. We lived south of town. And I was working for Mrs. Huber in the house. I was doing housework. I quit school to go and work because the strike was on, and that was in 1914. And I called her up that morning, and I said, Mrs. Huber, my mother, don't want me to come to lodge because... The men was up there in the in the deep ditch, and they was shooting to the at the hecklet, and they was shooting out. And I said, my mother doesn't want me to come because there's a trouble over the Hecla Heights. And I said, you don't know what might she doesn't know what might happen. And I said, uh, she only come. To, oh, you come to work. You're safe as it a bug in a rug. She said. So I told mother. She said, there are all the trees in the buildings. They can possibly hit us here. So I went. It's a big strike here we had. Had to run away from home for a week. Tell, tell, tell them where you went. Huh? <laughs> tell them where you went and hide. I went down to Mrs. Perella's. <coughs> to, uh, you know, when they were Wait. shooting. And uh, my mother had uh, a guy who was a baby, and she was carrying him in her arms. And uh, Frank was holding on her dress, and I was holding his hand. It was raining one night, and he lost his shoe. We had some time up there. Uh, do you remember anything about the uh, strike, Lena? The yes, I do. I was 10 years old when they had that strike. And um, uh, I can remember, you know, the old Frenchy house there, the Frenchy house? All of the neighbors on that street, we all ran into that house, and we prayed. And, uh, of course, the men, the coal miners, went out with their guns. And they went up to the field, you know, up where that little, uh, where the, they called them scabs at that time, the non-union men. And it was very, it was a hard strike. It was, it was just a terrible thing. People just didn't have food either at that time. It was bad. Mr. Masoni, what effect, uh, in your opinion, did the strike have on the town? Well, it gave that strike gave us a bad joke because because uh, there, it's a good thing that the the, the Fords came out and just during just about during that time Ford came out with their automobiles. If it hadn't been for that, this town would have died because there wasn't anything here to keep us working. 
but Ford come out with the little Model T. Mm -hmm. So we all went here and there, and we all got jobs around, see? Mm -hmm. But uh, it, uh, it didn't hurt us too, too bad, only we had, we had to plant as big a garden as we possibly could in the summertime, you know, mm -hmm. to keep a go. Two dollars a week wasn't so very much. Who paid the two dollars a week? <coughs> the union. You see, we had organized, and we were fighting for a, big, for a little bit better money. We were working 10 hours for $3 a day. Oh, my. 10 hours for $3 a day. And after the strike, did you feel that After the, the strike, felt? we lost it, and we went back under conditions worse than before.